but you know, Anish did apologize to Cowboys fans and I want to apologize to Giants fans real quick because dear Lord, I have your team doing absolutely terrible three and 13 is my prediction for the Giants, man. And I really wanted to give them more games, but you know, gonna make me mad, head coach, gonna with a rookie mad. head coach and Joe judge, I don't yeah. know how it's going to work out there. The defense, I think it's still pretty questionable, even after adding Logan Ryan. I mean, uh, I do like the move of Jason Garrett to some extent, though, because I think that's really going to help Daniel Jones and that offense really flourish. But I'm, I'm, I think they fall anywhere between that 3-13 and 13 to 5-11 and 11 range. Come uh, on. You have the seventh easiest schedule in the league, but look, the first five games, I think they're pretty tough. You know, Chicago, the Rams, Cowboys – Pittsburgh Monday Night Football. And then you got to play the Niners Bucks too. in Week Eight. Yep, you got to play the Niners. Bucks in Week Eight, uh, Monday Night Football. It's just, and then the final two games you got to play Baltimore, and then the finale at home versus the Cowboys. So, and, and I think Anish does have them upsetting. I don't think that's going to happen though, because at that point I think the Cowboys are going to be competing for an NFC East crown. So I think they're going to be going all out in that game, but. Nothing really comes easy for the Giants, I guess. And I'm afraid we're just looking at another double-digit loss campaign. And maybe this is just the growing pains for, for Joe Judge and this team. But Giants fans, New York, Big Blue, very sorry. 3-13 and 13 <laughs> is my prediction. I'm not going to make y'all much happier. I've got them going 4-12. Oh, geez. <laughs> so, yeah, all the Giants fans that may have been subscribed to us oh, out the door now. But I just – I'm I'm – I've said it before. I'm not a huge believer in, in Danny Dimes, as Anish likes to call him. Uh, I don't think that No, his... look, here's the thing. I am a believer in Danny Dimes. Uh -huh. I think yeah, Jason yeah, Garrett. Yeah, 3 and 13 does not sound like you're a believer. Okay. Keep going, Jack. Keep going, Jack. It's give, tough. Give me okay? time. Give me time. And then I think that, the, I mean, the defense, obviously, I, I think that the secondary gets a little bit better with the signing of Logan Ryan. But, you know, they won't have DeAndre Baker's help out there, you know, stealing picks from quarterbacks. Uh, <laughs> that was the only thing he was stealing, Yeah. <laughs> 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 but they also lack talent uh i think at the safety position now with uh, xavier mckinney out Jabril mm -hmm. peppers is, is good but he's serviceable i'm not he's not tremendous or anything and xavier mckinney gonna miss a lot of the season uh and then inside linebacker and outside linebacker for the pass rush is very weak one of the weaker linebacker cores in the nfl uh, and they don't have a ton off the edge they've got good defensive linemen but they don't really scare me on a pass rush level uh, so I think that, and obviously the offensive line, they've added Andrew Thomas, but they're still not amazing. Uh, and so I think there's problems all over this team. And I wanted to give them more wins. I really did. But I've, I only got them winning four. Okay. So I'm very mad at you two right now. But you know what? Here's the thing. For the Giants fans out there, I love this team. And, uh, you know, I, especially with – it all starts with Danny Dimes. I'm a huge believer in this dude. I really think people are – you know, criticizing him just because he was picked sixth overall. Okay, I get it. He's not, he's not, you know, he may not ever fill those expectations, but I think he can. And I really believe in his game. I think if he polishes himself a little bit more, especially with the turnovers, I know Jack gets really mad at the fumbling and I do too, but I think he can really polish his game like that. All rookie quarterbacks go through that type of phase. We've seen that with Eli. Uh, obviously Giants fans knows, know what I'm talking about. And obviously with Peyton too, we've seen rookie quarterbacks struggle. I'm really, I mean, what's there not to like? I mean, this dude is going to throw a lot, and I think this is a great year for him to develop. So here's, I'm going to give my pick right away. I have him going 5 and 11, 6 and 10. I think I'll give him the bump. I'll give him 6 and 10. Just because, and I think, I tell this to Jack too. I think there are, you know, borderline teams. There's a good 5 and 11, and there's a good, a, a bad 5 and 11. Or like a good 6 and 10, a bad 6 and 10. I like, I have this as like a good six and 10 preparing them for a future year because it's 2020. I think there's a lot of weird things going on with this season. Really don't know what's going to happen. So I think this is a good prep for the future. Obviously McKinney is uh, very up and down this year because of that injury, but I think Peppers is very solid. Um, and again, uh, I think this is good paving the way for the future. I think Solder's also playing right tackle. So let's see how that works. I think that's another interesting uh, uh, thing to w watch out for. And again, Saquon Barkley, he is still there. You have to give him some credit, uh, right? I think this is his, this is third year Saquon. And this is usually the year where running backs, you know, have their best year. I mean, third year is where they kind of uh, escalate and become really good. We saw that with Christian McCaffrey last year. So I'm really expecting big things from Saquon Barkley this year. And I have him pulling off some upsets again. I think this is a team that, again, they, 
they spoil a little bit. They, I, I have them playing spoiler for the Cowboys, and I actually have them upsetting the Bucks Monday night. I mean, that's those are the two big games I have for them. Otherwise, obviously, like I, I have them starting off 0-5, but I think they win some games where it's like, okay, okay, Danny Dimes pretty impressive because I saw some of that last year, and I told that with Jack. Obviously, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I told him, for quarterbacks, if I see something very impressive, if I see some type of iconic moment, I will say, okay, that makes me believe that they can do something great later. And he had two games, Tampa Bay – uh, and I think Detroit, where he just lit it up, and that comeback against Tampa Bay was really convincing to me. So, got them six and ten. I think they're they're uh, they're looking good, and I think they're heading in an upward direction.